Hello guys, what's good? What's poppin? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I probably need another tripod. Ah, I'm gonna be using Desperate Housewife as a tripod. A little low. So I'm gonna put my Harry Potter collection. Perfect, perfect tripod. Oh my god, girl. I did this. Right now, let me check the time. But this is so embarrassing. This is not me. It's Anya. I have like an internal joke because her face always looks like that. Oh my god, guys, everyone, everyone go to Anya's Instagram and say like, check out MJ's last video and then she will see herself here. Look at her. Is it not focused? Okay, Anya, before you're happy that this didn't focus, don't you worry, girl. I'm gonna turn a picture right now. <laughs> it's 10-10, guys. Okay, everyone, let's make a wish. Okay, I wish I'm not gonna get called from standby. <laughs> Listen guys, I'm gonna have a standby from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's a home standby, so I'm gonna be at home, sleeping, and then if anyone calls sick for a flight or something happens, they're gonna call me. Basically, I have no clue where I'm gonna be going, uh, which continent, maybe they're not gonna call me. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know. Wait, I'm gonna put a candle on top of the Harry Potter. No, that is a tripod. Jeez. Perfect. I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna prepare for my standby and then later I'm gonna leave on the camera see if I get called or not honestly I don't mind not getting called and then just show you guys what I'm doing tomorrow on my days off <laughs> because they can call me for any flight you see now it's 10 uh, p.m. which means I'm trying to sleep from like at least at 11 I need to sleep that's for sure because let's say they call me at 3 I will have only 4 hours of sleep imagine they send me to Auckland it's a 16 hour flight and I didn't sleep you know what I mean so for a standby you need to sleep before your standby starts I mean you don't have to but I don't want to die okay this is my skincare section I'm very proud of it um look at them hi boys this is like the products I always use here's all my uh, face masks my sheet masks actually and then here is like stuff I have double like I have this one like triple this one already finished so i keep this because uh, you can give this back to innisfree and they're gonna recycle it recycle you say recycle so it's good for the environment and i think if you have like three products empty one then you get a coupon or something first item i'm gonna use is my cell cure toner i'm gonna leave everything down below this is just like very good so there you go this is the toner i've been using this since i came back from korea like three months ago and it's still inside of it thank god I'm newly single again. Nobody's shocked. Serum, also from Cellcure. But yeah, it just didn't work out, girl. So. But anyway, I'm just gonna pretend I'm good because you know what? There is no time for tears and no tears for time. And oh yeah, I was flying to Singapore and I met my friend Belle. You probably know her. She was in like a couple of my videos and she got married and she moved to Singapore. I met her there for dinner and ice cream this is the cream so this is the cream I never know if I'm supposed to put my eye cream before or after the main cream but I always put it after and I just pray that this was the right idea how do I feel about my standby honestly guys first of all I wouldn't be mad at all if I don't get called <laughs> I would be actually kind of happy cuz I just want to chill right now this is the eye cream this is amazing truly amazing if you want a good eye cream and you have some coins left why do i want to chill well because my mom wasn't doing so well lately and yeah this is also why i don't really post as much on my instagram and everything i mean stories especially because i don't know i'm just sad you know imagine your mom is not is like sick at home she had to had a surgery and it didn't really turned out the way it's supposed to be and she now has to get another surgery and i just broke down i didn't even tell leo leo was back home in uh, manchester and she was like hey what are you doing i'm like girl sorry i need to focus right now she goes why i'm like my mom was in surgery now so she was like what then i had a full-on panic attack at home by myself <sighs> oh my god now when i think about it, it it's all coming back but basically i was in the kitchen on my phone it was plugged in the, in the wall and i was like oh yeah my mom is having surgery and then leo was like oh my god happening again and then Leo was like, wow, I can't believe you didn't tell me. Like, oh my God, is she okay? And then my throat just closed. Oh my God, even now it's closing, guys. It's not psychological, girl. I swear, I can't breathe. I was just like on the couch, elevated my legs. I just tried to like breathe because my throat was like so small. So, hmm, 
yeah, not being there, of course, is not nice. So yeah. Oh, also preparation for my standby. I'm drinking my sleeping tea from Germany. It smells a little bit like puke. Um, one time I opened the tea bag in the crew bus. Someone was like, "Who farted, guys?" And now on top of everything, we're gonna use a sleeping mask. So this is the midnight renewing sleeping mask, also from Cellcure. Uh. Ta-da! In the morning when I wake up, my skin is gonna be so moisturized. The standby is from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. So they can call me at 3. They can also call me at 10.58 for anything, like also for a turnaround. I, I wouldn't mind a turnaround. Oh my god, guys, wait, I forgot to say something. I have big news. I am no longer working in economy. You thought I was gonna say Emirates, right? <laughs> I got you there. I am officially a business class crew. Thank you, thank you so much. How do I feel? I feel amazing. My first flight was to New York. I was so nervous, oh my god, like wow. I made two mistakes, I cannot talk about it, but two major mistakes. I don't know what happened, my brain just shut off. Going and coming back, one mistake and one mistake. So at least I kept it equal, consistency right there. Then in New York, I met a friend of mine, I haven't seen her for 20 years. It was great to reconnect with her. Oh my god, can you imagine? It was just like a random thing. Listen, I was in Orlando and I just had a dream about this girl randomly out of nowhere. I haven't spoken to her in ages since we were little. I had a dream about her. So I stalked her on Facebook. I was trying to find her. I was like, listen girl, and she lives in the States. I'm like, listen girl, I just had a dream about you. She goes, oh my god, that's so weird. And she was like, anyway, hit me up if you ever come to like near New York or whatever. Next roster, New York. So of course I met her, it was great. My second flight was on reserve. I was on standby and they called me for Frankfurt and I made no mistakes, guys. I had great crew, so they really explained everything to me. Then my third flight was, well, Beijing, but we never took off. Okay, first of all, after my Frankfurt, we were all at the baggage belt. This girl was like, oh, Andrea, did you check your roster, what you have for tomorrow? I was like, no, I'm so scared to check. Like, I hope I have a day off. Then this FG1, like random girl, I've never, never spoken to her, the first class crew. She goes, I can send to have a home standby. They're gonna call you for China. So I'm just like, what are you talking about? I'm checking home standby. I was like, wow, you really think I'm gonna go China? She's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Then they call me for Beijing. And I was just like, um, but then I never went there because we had some very serious issues on the aircraft. So... <laughs> Yeah, we just went to the runway, about to take off, had to go back, a lot of drama, and then we all got sent home. <laughs> so that was my Beijing trip, it was weird. Yeah, then the other flight, I went to Singapore, I saw Belle, and now I'm here, in my house. Okay, now it's 10.25. Um, first of all, we need to make the room very cold, because this is how my body likes to sleep. So you see, now it's 21. Uh, 21.5 so we need to make it like all the way down to 19.5 perfect my face feels hydrated now i need to dismantle my tripod guys let's make the bets first of all i want to go to korea because i haven't seen any uh happy tony and Eunice in so long but for sure they're not going to give me korea you know why because korea is departing at 3 a.m and this is when my standby starts so it doesn't make sense for me to say this I just wanted to like put it out there. Okay, so I want to go Korea, but cannot, because it's not realistic. Where else do I want to go if it's not Korea? Somewhere near my house, AKA Hamburg, because my mom is sick and I don't know, I just want to see my family. Is this realistic? Yes, because there's a departure at nine. It's EK59 and it departs at 9.25 AM, if I'm not mistaken. Ew! Ooh, I need to call Happy about this. He needs to help me out. What is this light? Okay, I'm just gonna put the lights on and just say what I had to say. Where else do I want to go that is realistic to go? I don't feel like I want to go America. I don't want to go Australia and stuff. I want to go Hamburg, um, Germany in, in general. I would love to go because I need to buy some groceries. <laughs> Singapore, I wouldn't mind to see my friend again. Uh, I don't want to go anywhere cold except Germany. That's it. I just want to go somewhere warm, tropical destination, something with palm trees, coconut, sea, blue sky, pool bar, sun, jacuzzi, cocktails. That's it. I'm simple. You know what this feeling? You're in bed, you're cozy, and your tea is like so far away. Cannot reach. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go bed. Actually, 
this is how I sleep. I watch K-drama until until my body just in the sleep, I put it down. I just finished a really good drama, guys. It's called Legend of the Blue Sea. I was finishing it in the cab and my cab driver, after like 10 minutes of ride, he just randomly wants to start talking to me. It was right at the end of the drama, like the emotional part. Like, okay, talk to me, but like in the beginning, but not now. Oh my God, I was just like, uh-huh. He's like, oh, you cabin crew? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Germany. And, and you? I'm from Nepal. Oh, great. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I was just not really into the conversation, but the drama is so good, guys. Oh my god, I really recommend it. And now I'm watching Tomorrow With You. It's a bit weird, to be honest. It's like with time travel, but why not? Uh, okay, guys, now I'm gonna go bad. <gasps> Pray for me. I'm not gonna get called. Bye. See you never. I wish I'm not gonna get called from standby. Sorry, where am I going? Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh my god, guys, I'm not ready for this. I'm not. I don't feel like I want to go America. I just want to go somewhere warm. Parts of East Texas are under flash flood emergency. Tropical destination. The storm spawned multiple tornadoes east of Houston yesterday. Palm trees. Samelda has already dumped more than a foot of rain in Houston. Coconut. This is life-threatening flash flooding. Sea. Cars sinking in floodwaters. Blue sky. Rain accompanied by thunderstorms. Pool bar. Lightning. Sun. And tornado warning. Cocktails. Stranding drivers. Jacuzzi. The rain isn't stopping. Oh. Uh... <laughs> How do I feel? I don't know. Yeah, I survived the 16 hour flight. I made it alive. You know what? I'm so lost. I don't know why, but my feelings are lost. I even lost my identity. Excuse you? I lost another name tag, girl. No way. <laughs> Guys, this lady on the phone who told me you're going to Houston. She disclosed some very important information that I'm gonna reveal to you in a second. Cause you know what, girl? We have to take off her makeup. Oh yeah, sorry. You wanna see the room? Sometimes I forget to show you guys the room, and then you guys are like, "Ah, uh, where's the room tour?" So this is my suitcase with my sticker. So there you go. Here is the door to the pool. There you go. Beautiful with my coconut right here entertainment system so more entertainment okay this is a real question like i'm always wondering who reads magazine from the hotel who's like mm, let me have a read this is so disturbing look at this so disturbing wow lounge area and my life area look at that oh my god i can't wait yeah wow look at that guys you can see the beach you can see the pool. Wow. Oh, I'm so blessed. It's rough. It's super rough. I'm so sorry, guys. We're gonna just wash our face first, do some skincare, and then I'm gonna shower. My skin is so sad right now. Oh, I look so disgusting, and I'm so bloated. Oh, okay, guys, you have no idea what happened. First of all, <laughs> now I'm in Texas. This is not even like the shookest thing like the most shocking event of this whole thing first of all i miss the crew bus no big deal i take a taxi anyway i go down no cab okay that's horrible then i had to take an uber right now in dubai uber is so expensive guys but anyway then there was traffic so i was late let me just um clean my face quickly i'm using this and 
this. This is really good, guys. It takes care of your um, dark spots and everything. And also removes makeup. But oh my god, I forgot my... Ah, no. We're gonna use this first. Sorry, this is my soap from K-Secret. Uh, I don't really know how to like pack soap correctly, but I think this is like a fail right now. This is the from K-Secret. You can wash your face with it. So the briefing room is divided into, let's say, three sections. First class with the purser on the table. Business class with the business class crew and the business class supervisor. Economy with all the economy crew and the two economy supervisor. Before, we used to be like a big table. Anyway, we're like into groups, right? I'm sitting down, I'm doing like my documents check. You have to do a safe talk question. They're gonna ask you a question. You have to, an you have to answer it correctly. I answered correctly, thank god. If you don't answer it correctly, you have another try, but anyway. So, you know, we do the briefing, we discuss in the briefing like customer, service, like all the stuff, you know? Legalities, like all that. So we do this in our individual groups, everything is fine. Then the purser, from the purser table, he looks at me and he says something. I don't get it. I pretend I get it. Oh, yeah. But then he's still talking and I'm just like, Ah, uh, sorry, well, what did you say so I didn't hear? You're from home standby. Ah, yeah, 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 from home standby, correct. Uh, what home standby? Oh, 3 to 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was still looking at me and saying something. I don't get it. I pretend the second time I understand. I'm like, yeah, perfect. And then the crew next to me, she's looking at me and I'm like, sorry, did you understand what he told me? She goes, no. Then I finally speak up and say I don't understand. By the way, guys, if someone is talking to you and you don't understand the person, I think you should just tell the person you don't get it. Because otherwise you're going to end up like me looking like an idiot. So then the third time, I was like, sorry, I, I didn't really understand what you're saying. And then he said, oh my god, guys, this is so shocking. Wait, I have to just remove the, the soap for this. Ew. Okay, now I'm using my cleansing oil. Ew, my skin is so horrible right now. But yeah, now I'm using this one. Uh... I'm like saying again, like, sorry, I, I couldn't really understand. What did you say? And then he goes and proceeds to tell me. He's asking me, are you a great one? Which means, are you business class crew? And I'm like, yeah. He says, uh, no, you're a great too. Which means economy crew. And I'm just like, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm a great one. He says, no, you got pulled out as an economy crew. Make, make, make. What? You probably think like, MJ, you've been doing this for four and a half years, economy, you know what's up. But to be honest with you, even after a couple of flights in business class, you're just used to it. And if we go back to economy to like do something and I open the curtains or I go down the stairs, it's a shocking moment. It's just like, it's a lot of people. Inside I was like, <laughs> outside I was like, cute, very cute. Okay, uh, bye. I, I'm leaving now. I'm gonna have to go over there. <laughs> See you in America, guys. And then I went to economy. Honestly, it was great. It was great. I was just like, you know what? Sometimes I just need some mental preparation. I would love for the lady on the phone to just tell me, oh, by the way, MJ, you'll be working in economy just so you can prepare yourself mentally. Perfect, no problem. But honestly, I wasn't expecting to go to America. I'm kind of sad I'm here, but also I'm happy. Now that our skin is nice and clean, I mean, sorry, it's not nice yet. Okay, I need to rephrase it. Now that my skin is clean, we have to make it look nice. I'm gonna be using my Hunt Skin Pearl Mask. This is how she looks like. First of all, I have to shower my body. Uh, my hair, no, my hair is still cute. I mean, my hair is still there. Um. See you in the morning, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, guys. You know, this is the thing. On reserve, we don't really know. Okay, I had 16 hours to think of what am I gonna do. Oh, guys, I'm so bloated. Like, this is not okay. Oh, I'm so scared to do this right now, but... Oh, I'm so scared I'm just not gonna wake up. I mean, I am gonna wake up one day, but... I'm so scared that I'm not gonna be able to take a shower right now and just fall asleep in this exact position. I won't even be able to turn off the lights, because... I can't reach. Thankfully, I slept before because how can I survive this long flight, you know? Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. They have the best kimchi pancake ever in Houston. I will, I will show you guys tomorrow. Wow, it's a Korean restaurant I found by accident. It was so good. Like, best kimchi pancake. Did you hear? My stomach just made a noise because she knows 
You are the kimchi pancake. You remember, girl? So yeah, I'm gonna uh, bring you guys there tomorrow. We, we're gonna do shopping. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Honestly, like, my plan is to go gym, but like, on the flight, I was like, guys, I'm going gym after we check in. Who's in? Everyone was like, MJ, you're not gonna go gym. And I'm like, guys, I swear I'm gonna go gym. And now, I'm not gonna go gym. Okay, I'm gonna try to shower now and then do my face mask. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's currently 9.43 a.m. in the morning. And I've been awake since 5 a.m. I went to the gym. I felt like a... Well, I felt like an Olympic... Uh, Olympic person. Because it was like flags behind me, you know? So it gave me a little bit of motivation. Like, whoa! <laughs> okay, guys. So now the shuttle bus is leaving soon. We're gonna go to Walmart. Um, the shuttle bus doesn't go to Walmart. But I'm just gonna ask him to drop me there. Because he did that last time and yeah. This is the view. Um, as you can see. It's not it's not cute. Thankfully, I only packed uh, crop tops. Uh, which is great. <laughs> it's perfect. This is the outfit of the day. My shoes from the gym. Because I only packed one pair of shoes. Crop top. This one here. And that's the whole look. Very normal. Nothing special. Wait, what time is it again? 9.45. Okay. <sighs> Oh my god, and I'm so excited because Houston has one of my favorite Korean restaurants. They do the best kimchi pancake ever. What I'm telling you, last time I had a first bite. Oh my god, it's just too much. Oh my god, the water. My mouth is watering, guys. And... What else is there? Best kalbi tang. I don't know if you guys know kalbi tang, but it's so good. And what else did I have? I ordered like a bunch of food. I always order a lot and then I take the rest home. Okay, let's turn the light off and let's bounce. I'm stuck at the bus station. The man from the shuttle bus, he said that he cannot take me to Walmart. Aww. So now I'm uh, stuck in the bus station. I don't know if this is the right bus station. He told me to take the bus 82. But then it also says 82 over there. I don't know which direction to take and now I'm stuck. I'm just gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. The bus station that was the wrong one had a shelter and the correct one doesn't have any shelter. So I built my own. And it's raining like so bad right now guys I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it's raining a lot And now I'm waiting for the bus 82 to go to my Walmart Look at this, I'm going through all of this just for Walmart Guys, I'm so scared right now, you don't know what happened Earlier when I was at this bus station, there was like this black big car With like tinted windows That was like stopping on like randomly on the side and like waiting you know So I was like that's awkward So yeah, so now that I'm waiting for the real bus Oh my god, this guy is there! Guys, I'm gonna catch him on camera now as he's gonna cross the street. I'm gonna turn around, but he's looking at me. Oh my god, he's coming, he's getting out of his car. He is getting out of his car, guys. That is so weird because now that I was here, uh, he like stopped his car and he was like, Hey, where are you going? I'm like, Oh, just to Walmart. I said, Where I was going, he said, Do you need a ride? I was like, Oh, no, thanks, I'm good. And now he's over there, guys. He's gonna, he, he's just like, um, always like looking at me and turning around his car. Oh my god, there he is. I don't know if I caught that on camera guys, I'm so nervous, I don't want to die But this is what happened basically I think I just escaped death or something Alright you guys, I got the right bus The bus driver was super nice to me He helped me and he told me where to go So now I'm just walking to Walmart But honestly guys, I have to tell you this <sighs> Two weeks ago, Leo sent me a post from this lady I think she's famous And she said that uh, people in America are getting um, abducted Or how you say it, stolen And then their bodies are gonna get sold or like some organs as well you know what the random car is st stopping next to you and asking you oh can i drop you off somewhere okay it happens but it's still a bit weird but okay but this car legit guys has been following me from before you know when i was on the wrong bus station i saw this this car just stopping like randomly on the side and then not moving and i was like that's weird that's really weird but anyways then the, the wrong bus came he told me to go on the other side this took like maybe 15 minutes the fact that this guy was like waiting 
the whole time for sure observing me you guys oh my god it was so weird and then when he stopped by he was like friendly looking so i was like no thanks you know he was like all right he drove off and then i was like oh my god that's the same guy who was over there on the other time and then when i turned on the camera he was just still driving around and looking at me and then i don't know if i caught it on camera but anyway it was like a really big car um wow guys it's really scary and i, I will talk to you guys about this later because look at me i wasn't sure if i was going the right way i'm in houston i've been here once only and i was sick on this layover uh but yeah it was raining you see like all of this stuff is telling me to say yes it's easy this friendly guy just wants to give me a ride like you know what i mean i didn't know where i was going i don't know where the if this is the right bus like i have no clue guys this walmart could have been like half an hour away or maybe 10 meters who knows but it's so important <laughs> i thought he came back it's really important for you guys to say no 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 it's snowing it's raining no these people just are waiting for something to happen like rain or something for you to say yes just drop me this random guy is just very nice you know no guys you have to say no okay i have reached walmart see you later i'm currently trying to find the ugliest christmas sweater for leo and i she doesn't know this yet but we're gonna make a cooking video making christmas cookies wearing uh ugly <laughs> those you know those ugly ones so yeah i'm trying to see which one is the ugliest one time no see honestly i don't even know when was the last time i filmed probably yesterday yeah so i just did my skincare it's already time to leave when i came back to the hotel after the restaurant oh it's finished i came back and i slept for like so long 10 hours i know what was wrong with me i slept went to the gym did fun stuff like really exciting things I just relaxed what a boring layover now I'm just getting ready for my flight I just did my skincare oh let me check okay whatever I don't have a watch in here I don't know the time but let's just pray that everything's gonna be fine no she's empty I tried you know yesterday when I got back I mean from the from the trip from the Walmart and, and restaurant trip oh my god guys I go on my laptop I watch YouTube and then this video got recommended to me and I'm just like, what? The most shocking thing is that. Remember, so this guy pulled up and everything. And this was when I was on my way to Walmart. So then I watched the video, right? And guess what all the stories had in common? It's Walmart. One specific time, I remember I was in Walmart. My sisters were also followed to our neighborhood after leaving that Walmart. We went from one end of Walmart. My family and I went to Walmart. I was alone in the Walmart. So, I don't know, guys. Ew, my battery's flushing. I'm using my Hand Skin BB Cream. I'm just putting a little bit, like here you know what i mean i usually do this with my hands <laughs> sorry if this is like cringy for like beauty people because i'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do this with your hands i, I just hit myself a little bit also then i use my blemish cover from hand skin also this basically is gonna just incorporate everything also guys i woke up with the best dream of my life and my dream was so real i woke up i was like where is everyone <laughs> so late although we had a delay as you can see i hope you liked experiencing experience whatever experience being on standby with me this is just my whole month guys my whole month is gonna be like that or and has been like that so far i'm almost done look guys i have to leave all this food behind and also this one because no more space okay guys sorry i'm just gonna have to say goodbye quickly now thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up. and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet which i hope you did just double check it thank you stay tuned for the baking video with leo where i'm gonna be giving her her ugly sweater i picked the two ugliest ones 
she thinks they're cute i told her this morning she's in miami right now i told her like girl i bought us christmas sweaters she was like are they ugly i was like how does she know but anyway i just told her they're cute they're really ugly okay guys i have to go okay i have one minute to go down am i ready for the 16 hour flight um not really but am i gonna do it anyway because i have no choice yeah for sure <laughs> Welcome on board. If you are interested in my Instagram, MJ minus on the floor K. Merry Christmas. Just kidding. I'll see you before that. Okay, I gotta go. See you soon. Bye guys.